In this video we will discuss about various forms of therapeutic exercises. This is the third part of our course. In the previous lectures we discussed about the basics of physical therapy and introduction of physiotherapy modalities. The links of those videos are in the description box. Let's come to our topic. If we talk about the definition of therapeutic exercises, these are the prescription of bodily movements to correct impairment, improve musculoskeletal function, or maintain a state of well-being. The goals of therapeutic exercises are to enable ambulation, release contracted muscles, tendons, and fascia, mobilize joints, improve circulation, improve respiratory capacity, improve coordination, reduce rigidity, improve balance, promote relaxation, improve muscle strength, improve exercise performance and functional capacity, and improve overall fitness. Therapeutic exercises To improve and maintain physical fitness, Therapeutic exercises aimed at achieving and maintaining physical fitness fall into the following major categories, each of which has a specific purpose. Endurance training, resistance training, flexibility training. What are endurance exercises? Any exercise that involves the use of several large groups of muscles, and is thus dependent on the delivery of oxygen to the muscles, by the cardiovascular system, used in both physical fitness programs, and testing of cardiovascular and pulmonary function. Endurance exercises include walking, running, jogging, dancing, stair climbing, cycling, swimming, rowing, skating, aerobic dance or exercise classes, jumping rope, and cross-country skying. The exercise session should consist of the following, a warm-up period of approximately 10 minutes, this should combine clusthenic type stretching exercises, and progressive aerobic activity, that should increase the heart rate close to the prescribed heart rate for the session. Calisthenics are exercises that don't rely on anything but a person's own body weight. Endurance training of 20 to 60 minutes for 3 to 5 days per week. Then a cool down period of 5 to 10 minutes. What are resistance exercises? These are designed to increase muscle strength and are performed against an opposing force. Resistance training increase strength walking speed, stair climbing power, balance, and lean body mass resistance training generally exists in three forms, isotonic, isometric, and isokinetic. Isotonic exercises consist of dynamic exercise, combining a constant load with uncontrolled speed of movement. Isometric exercise are active exercises performed against stable resistance, without change in the length of the muscle. These exercises involve the exertion of force against an immovable object, or the holding of an object in a static position. They are relatively easy to perform and require little time. Isotonic versus Isometric Exercises Isometric exercises are very effective on postural muscles and are useful when joint motion is painful or contraindicated. Isokinetic exercises are dynamic muscle activity performed at a constant angular velocity. In isokinetic exercise, movement is controlled so that it occurs through a range at a constant angular velocity as the muscle shortens or lengthens. However, the load of force exerted may be variable. Isokinetic exercise is performed using special equipment, for example, Cybex, Nautilus, that only permits movement at a preset angular velocity. 
proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation or PNF exercises, it is an excellent technique for muscle strength training, is similarly based on applying resistance to muscle contraction in order to facilitate enhancement of muscle contractile force. PNF is suitable for patients with upper motor neuron lesions accompanied by spasticity, but it may also be used to initiate muscle contraction in cases of partial peripheral nerve damage and extreme muscle weakness. Here are the D1 and D2 flexion and extension patterns for upper extremity. Here are the D1 and D2 flexion and extension patterns for lower extremity. Flexibility training Flexibility is the ability of the joint or a group of joints and muscles to move through a range of motion effectively unrestricted and pain-free. Flexibility exercises are activities that improve the ability of a joint to maintain the movement necessary for carrying out daily tasks and physical activity. Examples of flexibility activities include stretching, Yoga, Tai Chi. Yoga is exercise, is a physical activity consisting mainly of postures, often connected by flowing sequences, sometimes accompanied by breathing exercises, and frequently ending with relaxation lying down or meditation. Tai Chi is an internal Chinese martial art practiced for defense training, health benefits, and meditation. Stretching is a form of physical exercise in which a specific muscle or tendon or muscle group is deliberately flexed or stretched in order to improve the muscle's felt elasticity and achieve comfortable muscle tone. Types of stretching exercises The three main types of stretching techniques are as follows, static stretching, dynamic stretching and PNF stretching. Static, the muscle is stretched to a point of mild discomfort and then held at that position for an extended period of time, usually 15 to 30 seconds. The characteristics of static flexibility exercise are as follows. Low injury risk effective, with little time and assistance required most commonly recommended method. Dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretches are active movements where joints and muscles go through a full range of motion. They can be used to help warm up the body before exercising. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation PNF, is a more advanced form of flexibility training. PNF involves both stretching and contracting of the muscle group being targeted in order to achieve maximum static flexibility. The three main PNF techniques are hold relax, contract relax, and hold relax with agonist contraction. Hold relax technique involves putting a muscle in a stretched position passively and holding for a few seconds. Contracting the muscle isometrically, such as pushing gently against the stretch without actually moving. This is when the reflex is triggered and there is a 6 to 10 second window of opportunity for a beyond normal stretch. Relaxing the stretch for 20 seconds before performing another PNF repetition. Contract relax, it is almost identical to hold relax, except that instead of contracting the muscle isometrically, in contract relax technique the muscle is contracted isotonically. The hold relax with agonist contraction is the most effective PNF stretching technique, due to facilitation via both reciprocal and autogenic inhibition. The technique begins with passive pre-stretch for 10 seconds. Therapist applies the force and the patient resists the movement for almost 6 seconds. 
Then the patient contract the agonist muscle, the muscle which is opposite to the affected muscle, to provide additional stretching force, and a passive stretch is held for almost 30 seconds. These are some precautions which should be taken while performing PNF stretches. During both the stretching and the contraction phase of the PNF stretch, it is not necessary to apply maximum force or intensity. Aim for a stretch intensity and contraction force of no more than 50 to 60 percent of maximum. The smaller the muscle group, the less force is needed. For example, if you are stretching the small muscles around the shoulder or neck, only 20% to 30% of maximum force should be applied. Make sure you are warmed up before any form of stretching. Control breathing while performing the PNF technique. While contracting muscles inhale, and when relax your muscle exhale. Range of motion exercises, active range of motion, is movement of a joint provided entirely by the individual performing the exercise. In this case, there is no outside force aiding in the movement. Passive range of motion exercises the motion imparted to a segment of the body by another individual, machine, or other outside force, or produced by voluntary effort of another segment of the patient's own body. Active assisted ranges of motion exercises it includes voluntary contraction of muscles controlling a part, assisted by a therapist or by some other means. Active assisted ranges of motion exercises are used when the patient has very weak muscles, or when joint pain limits movement. During active assisted room exercises, it is important to avoid forcing the joint or soft tissue beyond the point of pain. Other therapeutic exercises include postural exercises to improve posture and correct faulty posture, balance and coordination exercises to improve balance and coordination, relaxation exercises to induce relaxation. Area-specific exercises as breathing exercises and circulatory exercises. This is the brief summary of therapeutic exercises. I hope it will be beneficial for you. In the next video we will discuss about common musculoskeletal disorders presentation and their physical therapy management.